What's up everybody, Travis here from Redwater Dodge, home of the $10 oil change Rig Ready Rams, and now we buy your Ram and park behind me, our newest addition, the latest and greatest in Redwater Dodge, 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. You have the beautiful two-tone here with the black on top and that beautiful bright white on the bottom. That is a solid 20-inch rim wrapped in a Pirelli Scorpion all-terrain tire. You have all of the fit and finish and features anybody could ever ask for. The new key fobs are pretty sick. I'm going to come over here and show you. Okay, look at that. It's a pretty sick looking little thing, right? Very minimalist style, right? So you've got your keyless entry, which is going to give you the option to lock, unlock. You can actually, look at that. Wow. Auto tailgate, except for it's not a tailgate. It's more of a hatch, but it's so you know. magical. Yeah. Does it go the other way? Let's see. It oh, does. Yes. Wow. CS learning stuff. That even impressive. Yeah, I'm impressed. That was actually a complete gamble. That could have gone <laughs> completely sideways. I had no idea. Uh, you've also got a remote start, so you push the little hooty daddly circly button two times because it says two. Right? There we go. Super quiet. That's a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, you know? 3.6 liters of fun enjoyment and very quiet running noises, which is nice, okay? So, before we get too crazy, we're gonna go to the front and take a look at the motor. Well, guys, with the front of the 2023 Grand Cherokee Summit, a couple things I wanna go over first is the beautiful grill inserts. You'll notice a new, funky, creative, stylish, super classy, and luxurious pattern. And obviously you've got uh, the seven pillars because Jeep was one of the first vehicles on all seven continents. Pam loves that. And if you ask her, she'll tell you she does. Um, you got your front camera there. You've obviously got your beautiful, bright, Lexan-coated LED headlamps. You've got your LED fog lamps down below, parking sensors in the front as well. And guess what, guys, as mentioned, under the hood, this is your 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Fully equipped with variable valve timing. Valve timing is essentially uh, computer controlled how fast or slow, how many are open or how many are closed in regards to your valves giving you optimum performance and fuel economy and anything you're gonna wanna do under here on your own without the supervision of a licensed professional is gonna be clearly marked, talking about windshield washer fluid, um, oil dipstick, uh, oil cap. That's pretty well it. Don't touch anything else, okay? To make a boo-boo. Come along to the side, more of the same as mentioned, those beautiful 20-inch solid rims, Pirelli Scorpion, all-terrain rubber. You do have the 360 cameras. You can see your little camera there. And the proximity entry on the brand new Grand Cherokee is actually awesome. You'll notice there's no little black button on there. A couple of ridges right here. When you push it, it's locked, and then obviously sensor to open again. Pretty big fan of the uh, black and white roof thing you got going on here. So coming around to the back of the summit, now we've already been made aware of the auto tailgate. You also do have dual exhaust built into your color matched rear bumper. You've got parking sensors in the rear as well. Backup camera tucked safely away here. An additional backup camera there. You got cameras all over this thing. They want to give you 360 views or no 360 degree view. There's not 360 different cameras. I mean, there might be, I didn't count them all. Um, plenty of storage space back here as well, guys. You've got a, a little charging port, even a 12 volt DC current old school lighter style plug-in. You've got this vanity plate. It's a gift from us to you. It's actually a gift from uh, FCA to you. I have nothing to do with this. I hope you don't put it on and put like number one soccer dad. I would be relatively upset, but it's your stuff, you know, do whatever you want. Um, beautiful Jeep carpeted mat here in the rear so that you don't actually mess up the interior of the vehicle. Full size spare tire with your aluminum winter style rim. God forbid you get a flat and you got to replace it, right? We'll close that. Wow. That's something else. I'll tell you what right now. Let's go inside of it though. It's probably cool in there too. It's probably pretty neat. Well, guys, we're on the interior of the beautiful 23 Grand Cherokee Summit. One thing I want to draw your attention to rather quickly is the upgraded premium leather 
interior with this beautiful checkered slash argyle slash diamond patterned stitching on the premium leather. You've also got Summit uh, right there just below the headrest. Each seat is heated as well as ventilated or cooled. Power options on both sides, but for power options on my side here, you've got forwards, you've got backwards, you've got up, you've got down, you've got lean forwards, you've got lean backwards, you've got lumbar support as well. And you can actually extend the front portion of the seat. You see it? Look at it, it's doing a little extending thing. So you can physically elongate the part where you sit on. Amazing technology. Leather wrapped heated steering wheel. You've got all these beautiful uh, wood grain accents and like this black carbon fibery material all throughout the vehicle as well. And that stitching again, right there into the interior of the door. These beautiful black gloss inserts pair beautifully with the uh, Wood grain as well. You've got memory settings for your seats there. Relatively easy to use. Set your seat up however you'd like it. Settings, one memory, one profile is set. You also have auto folding mirrors on this one. Let me just give you a quick demo of that there. Oh, how do I do it here? Hold on. There you go. Took me a while to figure it out because usually it's a button, but on here it's the dial. So amazing, but trust me, I know things. Let's hop in here and take a peek. Wow. Push button start on this one as well. You do actually have the digital dash, so your RPM gauge as well as your speedometer, as well as the vehicle information center is all digital. Your fuel gauge, absolutely everything here is digital as well. Let's take a peek at our touchscreen here. Your entertainment center slash center console is incredibly well put together, very aesthetically pleasing, and very easy to access any and all of your options, right? Uh, the Summit comes with the auto on off mode for your motor. So essentially, if you come to a stop at a red light or at a stop sign, whatever the case may be, the motor will cut out, preserving fuel, so on and so forth. When you push the gas again, it'll kick back in and you'll be on your way. Obviously, all the customization options for your screen are still there as well. We are on page one currently. You've got nav and you've got now playing. Scroll over, you can still customize, add a widget, right? Pretty straightforward, click. Let's do now playing on that side and let's do, uh, for some fun, let's do suspension on that side, right? Um, going over to the media tab, this is gonna give you access to all of your media options, whether it's your Sirius satellite radio, which you'll have a sub, uh, as long as you can maintain that subscription. AM, FM, your phone, whether it's uh, an Apple or uh, whatever that other one is. You know, the green texts. Oh, it's almost puked. Um, it all comes and it all clicks in through here. You can do USB, you can do Bluetooth, whatever suits your fancy, right? Going over to the comfort tab. Now, this is going to give us all of our climate options. It's also going to give us control of our vented seats for each side, our heated seats for each side, and our heated wheel. Nav, pretty straightforward. This is your navigation and incredibly clear picture as you'll notice it's going to update us and let us know that there's a gas station up ahead zoom back out recenter it's also going to pick up all of the sneaky photo radar cameras very nice phone is obviously going to be where you pair your device again whether it is an apple or an android device um, it's, you know you can allow it to hook up to your contacts whatever the case may be for ease of access as well go into vehicle and this is going to give you a couple of different tabs now you have the control screen which we're on right now which is going to give you access to the mirror dimmer, um, the passenger screen right there. It's going to allow it to either be turned on or off through your main screen. Um, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can turn the screen on, you can turn the screen off. Um, you can change the screen permissions for the passenger screen. You can pop into your surround camera. We'll do that here. So right now we're looking at one of our back cameras. This one is right on the tailgate handle. This one's a little bit higher up on the vehicle. Here is your beautiful front camera different angle here is your overview of the back camera again incredibly clear picture as well on that one guys um, you can just check your forward facing camera on its own you also have the clean camera button here so you click that and look what it does cleans your camera we're talking about technology here people you can also just choose to look at your rear view camera as well you don't have to go through the whole surround sound 
thing. Um, you've also got your settings here. Now this is gonna be pertinent to your display, to your language, to safety, driving assistance, all those things. You're not gonna go through every single one of these options because these videos are already long enough, you know? We're gonna click off-road um, and it's gonna give you the option here to launch your off-road pages. And this is gonna bring you to a whole other slew of options as far as vehicle dynamics. You've got your accessory gauges here pitch and roll which is my favorite select train because you've got the quadra track 2 4x4 system now select trains going to allow you to go through a number of different drivetrain um, options like rock sand mud snow auto sport whatever the case may be right um, you've also got a suspension option here and you can go into your forward facing camera yet again apps button now this is going to allow you to access absolutely every single option made available in your touchscreen display. So every single thing is going to be here. Little arrows on the side to go up, to go down. You can also click and drag. There's Fire TV in here. There's your off-road pages. There's the Wi-Fi hotspot. All your heated seats and controls, all of your climate controls and everything's in here, right? You've also got your lane departure system and you can turn your parking sensors off. Um, you've also got your park assist as an option in the Summit as well. You can also turn on the passenger screen with uh, the button here, analog and uh, through the screen as well. Obviously all the options you have up here for climate and for the heated and ventilated seats and, and uh, radio tuning, this and that and the other thing. Are going to be available as analog buttons down here as well look at that transmission technology isn't that crazy there's no more little this or that or you know it's just like burp, 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 shish, jetsons noises you're just all over the map here right storage space here as well uh you've also got a couple of usb and usc ports an auxiliary port and an hdmi memory card right 12 volt dc current charger or plug-in right there as well and if you find that to be unsightly boom you pop that back down again you do have the rock mode sand and mud snow auto sport with that select track 4x4 and that's all done through the toggles here you have your auto ride height leveling here as well which we can toggle you can go down you can go up but uh, you can't change your ride height when the doors are open obviously you've got the upgraded Macintosh uh, uh, surround sound audio system that's a mouthful hey eh? Additional storage space here, cup holders for holding cups if you were unaware, people. Look at that beautiful premium plush suede type inserts there so you never have to worry about anything getting scratched or dinged up there. Let's look at these boxes. This is a surprise to me. Wow, you've got this box and what's in it, guys? This is your uh, audio kit dual channel. Let me give you a little bit of a, a tidbit right now. Take a peek at that and you're probably thinking, oh, what's that for? Well. Hold your freaking horses and I'm gonna tell you, okay? Passenger side, we've got some in-dash storage here as well underneath this beautiful big and bright passenger screen. Look at this, panoramic sunroof. You know how hard it is to get a sunroof in today's economy, Pam? That's crazy, they just like don't make them anymore. But we're lucky. We're lucky because we have a full panoramic sunroof, right? So you can open the whole thing and say, wow, how's everybody doing up above me? And they're gonna say, pretty good. We're like birds mostly, right? But we're gonna check the back out because there's more fun stuff there. Well guys, we're in the back of the brand new Grand Cherokee. Again, the options keep coming. You do have climate control for the rear here, separately controlled right there in the back of the center console slash armrest. You have this 115 volt three prong plug-in system, a couple of USB and USC charging ports there as well cup holder in the rear center right beautiful carpeted mats that actually clip into the floor so you're not going to worry about them getting all bundled up and dirtied right i mean they're probably going to get a little bit dirty people's feet go on them but they're not going to get crunched up and dirty which is a benefit you've also got the dual screen uh, media back here for the kids or uh just for your immature friends who just can't handle themselves you know what i mean that happens to me on occasion i get bored on road trips and i say can you throw on Puppy Pals, I want to watch Bingo and Rolly. It's on Disney Plus. If you've never seen it, highly recommend it, okay? There's also a show called Bluey, and it's an Australian shepherd dog, and he runs around with his family doing great stuff. So let's, let's talk about that. You've also got the sunscreens slash privacy screens that are built into the actual door here. A welcomed addition when it's bright and sunny like this, or if you just don't want any creepy weirdos looking in your car. 
Well, everybody, thanks for coming along with me over this brief overview of the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. More options in here than anybody has the time to take and list out. That's why our window stickers are in all of our vehicles. But if you want some more information, you can give us a call, 780-942-3629. Uh, Connor McGregor's in it. I think he's the bad guy. And Jake Gyllenhaal's the good guy, which makes sense. But I don't know if Jake Gyllenhaal can do any kung fu, but we'll figure it out. If he wanted to get some, I'd be bouncing around like Bruce Lee. <laughs> and he'd be all like, oh, Spider-Man, now you're asleep. I could have picked tighter pants, but I didn't have any, so I got these on instead. Are you ready, Pam? You're screwing around quite a bit. Okay, this is a Grand Cherokee, I know that. 2023, what year is this thing? <laughs> You're welcome, Chrissy, you were on a roll. Had that Christmas coffee, I'm all jacked up now. Hey, I'm not sure what just, I don't know why that beeped, or what is this? That was more aggressive than I would have liked to have had to push that thing. <laughs> 